Hey everybody. So lately I have been wearing my hair like this and I've been getting a lot of questions about it so I figured I'd make a video about it since it was requested a couple times. Um, now once I show you how I do it um, it's not going to be no big secret. There's actually a lot of videos out showing how to get curls like this but I guess I'm going to add one more since you guys asked. But um, so. It's more of like a wave than a curl. It's not really like, I mean, it's a curl, but it's not like the same as like a ringlet curl. Um, you'll see what I mean when I show you. It's kind of hard to explain. But to achieve it, you curl your hair a different way. You don't do it the standard way where you just wrap it around the curling iron. You actually um, can buy special curling irons to get curls like this. I have one. They look like this. They go from larger in diameter to smaller as it goes down. The one I have is by um, the company called Rusk and mine has a little bitty clamp. Conair also has one but the Conair one does not have a clamp. I actually prefer the clamp. I think it gives a little bit better control of the curl but either way works. Um, this you can, I'm not positive where you can buy this. I found mine at TJ Maxx, um, but I'm sure you could Google this and find this. It is by Rusk. Um, I show you how I curl my hair in the video. Um, I just want to say though, when you do use this, you want to be very careful because the way you are doing it, your hand is getting really close to the hot curling iron. And in my case, I did burn my finger doing this, and it hurts really bad. Um, but you just got to be really careful um, because it, your hand is extremely close to the curling iron versus when you do normal curls, your hand's down here the whole time. You're not even near the hot part. Um, but it can be very easy to burn your fingers. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I need to tell you in the beginning. Um, I kind of explain everything in the video as I'm doing it. But if I did miss anything, just please feel free to ask me, and um, now we will go on to the tutorial. Okay, so this side of my hair, as you can see, is all finished. Um, when I do it, I just split it down the middle, and I put the side that I'm not doing in a little elastic just to get it out of my way, and then... Um, this is the side that I work on. So, now I'm going to do this side and I start from the bottom so I'm just gonna take um, I take thicker pieces from the bottom and then I start taking thinner sections at the top so as you can see that's a pretty big section um, then I just get a clip and I clip up what I'm not working with out of my way so I brush the section then I spray it with hairspray the hairspray I'm using is just some cheap hairspray. It's the Herbal Essences um, Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. And I just spray the section. Then I distribute it again, the hairspray, so I brush through. Then I take oops, the curling iron and set it behind the hair and clamp it with the little clamp like that and then just wrap around. Now as I said you do have to be careful because your finger is getting really close to the curling iron and you can burn it very easily. So you just hold it there for a minute and then and then that's the curl you get. Do one more. I'm going to spray my section. Sometimes I put the curling iron in the front. I just kind of alternate. And then wrap it around. Where's my Um, I find that if you don't 
spray each section. It gets kind of um, frizzy, I guess you could say, as the day goes on. If By me spraying each section and then curling it, it just kind of holds the um, curl into place all day. Okay, so those three curls are done. Now, just to show you the difference, because you're probably wondering what the purpose is of using this curling iron, it does give you a different curl versus just the normal way, and I will show you that. Let me take a little piece of hair so you can see. This curl is more of a wave than um, anything, than a curl. Oops. So I'll do a regular curl for you just to show you that there is a difference. Okay. So this is the curl I just did and then this is the curl that you get with the curling iron. So as you can see, there is a big difference. This is more of a wave. Oh, it's bouncy. <laughs> this is more of a wave, and then this is a ringlet curl. So that is the difference that you are getting by using this curling iron. And if you don't have one of these curling irons, you don't necessarily, you can't, that doesn't mean that you can't do this. Um, I actually just, okay, see, now I didn't spray this section, and you can kind of see what happens when you don't hairspray it. It's kind of loose and, like, it's not as compact, I guess you could say. So that's why you want to spray the sections. Um, this is just a one inch con air curling iron. It is your standard curling iron. It does have the clamp, but if you want to get what I'm doing, just don't use the clamp. You still use the curling iron. You just wrap it around and you don't use the clamp and you will get the same effect. So you don't have to run out and get one of these curling irons. They just work a little bit better. And that's the piece I just did. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this side of my hair. And once I'm done, I will be right back. Okay, and now I'm all done. This is the finished product. Um, I just kind of straightened my bangs. Um, they're not really considered bangs anymore. I'm trying to grow them out. So, But I just kind of straightened them and tucked them, tucked them under. Um... So yeah, this is what my hair looks like. So if you have any questions or anything about anything I show, just please feel free to ask. And I will see you guys next video. Bye!